Another question I received was from our dear friend Cartwheel Video. Cartwheel Video, hello my friend, I hope you're well. And you say, I would love to hear some of your thoughts about shock cinema and its place in the overall art of filmmaking. Pink Flamingos, a Serbian film, Cannibal Holocaust, etc. I love boundary pushing films. For example, I am in the minority of people in thinking that Tom Six is the human centipede is the best original horror film of the 2000s. Thank you, as always, for your dedication to film and your viewers, Daisuke. You bring joy to many. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much, Cartwheel Video. And your question is really a great one. I love the, in particular, I love that phrase, I love boundary-pushing films. That's very interesting, boundary-pushing films. Okay, so you, ref you frame it as shock cinema. And you ask, what are my thoughts about, as you put it, shock cinema? And it's placing the place in the overall art of filmmaking. Okay, so I don't necessarily see, say, the aspect of shock or some kind of spectacle or situation portrayed in cinema that creates a sense of, say, disgust or repulsion or horror of some kind on the part of the viewer due to some kind of circumstance depicted in the film itself. Let's call it shock, right, as you put it. I don't necessarily see that in and of itself as, uh, say, um, uh, maybe a, you know, a good thing or a bad thing. I see it as one of the functions of, or possible function in any kind of overall work. Uh, in other words, it's like saying, uh, you know, sometimes we see in films, for example, acts of violence that are portrayed in, say, crime films or th that's uh, in suspense dramas or something of that sort. And I don't look at that in and of itself as being, say, a good thing or a bad thing, but I always look at those moments, or I try to anyway, seeing how do they fit in the overall effect of the work as a whole. And I find the element of, say, shock cinema to fit in that kind of mold. And then so I, I look at it and I think, how will it work? Now, for me personally, I don't, I, I, I don't, um, uh, I don't uh, go out of my way to try to avoid watching such films. In fact, I am okay personally with watching those sorts of works, and it's just a matter of how I respond to them and how I feel about them. I do feel disgust uh, a lot of times. I do feel quite horrified in, at a lot of those uh, situations that I see, in, for example, in some of the examples that you provide. But that doesn't mean that I dislike the films. It's just that is the response that I get. And perhaps in a lot of ways, I understand too that maybe that is the way in which the film has been designed in order to, on purpose, create that kind of feeling on the part of the viewer for some kind of effect or some kind of reason, uh, behind uh, a reason behind the chaos, as it were. And then so ultimately, I, I finish the film and I think, how did I feel about that? Why did I feel this way? Um, and uh, do... Do, do I feel like it served some kind of means to an end of some sort? And that end can be anything. It can be maybe some kind of statement, or it maybe it can be some kind of act of, of, of being in a place that, say, I was uh, different than where I was at the start of watching the film. So uh, this is all a, a type of, of generalized way of saying that I don't see sh uh, shock cinema in one way or another. Also because I understand that there can be many types of films that can fall within this particular, say, branding of, or, or categorization of cinema. For example, I think the examples that you raise, Pink Flamingos, a Serbian film, Cannibal Holocaust, The Human Centipede. I think in my, in my own viewpoint, while I understand the grouping and the categorization of these in one, say, category like this, I also can see how maybe they can be seen each in their own distinct category. They do have the, say, uh, connecting uh, factor of some kind of shock spectacle about them in their presentation. But still, uh, despite that, I also can see alternatively viewing them within their own separate genres, depending on the subject matter, of course. And so in that context, too, I can look at the film and say, okay, does it work within this genre? Does it work within that genre? Does it, in, within this context, does it uh, create some kind of effect on me and that, that kind of feeling or situation? So 
in other words, I don't look at it as being, say, um, I, I, I don't necessarily look at it as its own uh, distinct thing, but I look at it, say, or I try to look at it in the context of, of what the film is or where it is in, the, uh, in, in its particular genre. And then in that way, I find uh, my engagement with the film uh, can, can proceed forward. Now, of course, I understand that viewpoints can be different. And so uh, your viewpoint or your perspective might be a little bit different than mine as I've expressed it now, but that's okay. That's completely okay. And I understand, too, this categorization of shock cinema or perhaps the phrase that's used for maybe more recent films would be uh, extreme cinema or cinema of extremities or something of that sort. And so I can understand that. And maybe there might be other terms uh, depending on where one goes with it. But uh, uh, all in all, uh, I, I don't see it uh, in and of itself as, say, a positive or a negative thing. Uh, but I just try to uh, engage with the film on its terms and then see where I, I end up by the film's end, as it were. So, the yes, so that's my general approach to it. Now, I should say finally that while I personally have no, uh, no problems per se or in principle with watching films like this, there are moments when I do feel disgusted and I'm not sure how to, how to have that register in my own... Uh, outlook on a film. So that, uh, so this is to say too that uh, those sorts of moments do affect me, and they do create this kind of, of uh, maybe questioning as to do I really like this film or not. So that's certainly a possibility. But I also understand that feelings of disgust, feelings of horror, these sorts of feelings are also part of the human condition, as it were. Uh, it's 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 a natural reaction given a particular situation uh, for one to feel this way. And so I look at the films, therefore, as being yet another example of a reflection of, say, the human condition, this time a way in which uh, they can uh, register some kind of reaction uh, on me as the viewer. So that's an, well, one thing. Finally, I should say that I understand that these films aren't for everyone. And so while I might be okay with certain films, I know that other people might not be for reasons that uh, are their own. And so uh, I don't hold anything against anyone who may not like those films or vice versa. Uh, but I understand that this is, uh, well, my comments are basically based on my own personal journey. But your journey is your journey. My journey is my journey. Everyone else's journey is everyone else's journey. And sometimes they might uh, connect and converge. Sometimes they might go in their own directions. But that's one of the great things about it. So. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so uh, just to conclude, it is uh, yet another example of those sorts of films that I might explore along the way. And I certainly don't shy away from them. I try not to. And I will certainly engage with them as best as I can uh, based on the circumstances and situations and elements of the film itself. So that's my general ex uh, response to the question. It's a great question, by the way, Cartwheel Video. And so thank you very much for that. And uh, I now extend the question to those in the audience. Uh, how do you feel about shock cinema? Uh, do you do you like it? Do you not like it? And it's it doesn't you know you, you're free to express yourself in any way, uh, and in terms of answering the question. So I look forward to hearing your responses, my friend. Uh, Cartwheel Video. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing from you again very soon. Thank you.